Welcome to our video series, Feature Focus Spotlight by Sonic Wall. Today's topic, Administration Interface Enhancements. In this video, we'll navigate through the features and benefits of SonicWall's Gen 7, and we'll also see a demonstration of many of the enhancements. If you are already familiar with the features of Sonic OS 7.1.1 and want to see the migration demonstration, you may jump ahead in the time bar below and click on the chapter labeled Administration Interface Enhancements Demo. Whether you're an end user seeking enhanced security or a Sonic Wall partner eager to empower your clients, this video will explore how the new release can elevate your cybersecurity and make network management effortless. Before we dive into the features of Sonic OS 7.1.1, let's take a moment to preview the list of chapters in this video. We open with setting the stage, where we will explore the many features of the Gen 7 firewall series, which is the foundation for our latest Sonic OS release. Next is exploring the 7.1.1 release, where we'll dive into the high-level features and benefits of Sonic OS. Spotlighting the new feature focuses on the administration interface enhancements to increase your cybersecurity arsenal. End user benefits highlights the advantages of ensuring a secure digital environment for users. In the showcase demo, we'll see how the enhancements fortify your network against evolving cyber threats. Then, the final chapter, is our call to action for you, to engage with SonicWall representatives, to ask questions, to explore additional features, and to begin a new experience in network security. Setting the stage. The Gen 7 Firewall series elevates SonicWall's cybersecurity strength by living up to our core mission, deliver unparalleled protection against evolving threats, setting a new standard in security excellence. Gen 7 firewalls form the cornerstone of a robust cybersecurity infrastructure that addresses today's challenges while anticipating tomorrow. Whether you're an IT pro or a newcomer, you will appreciate innovations that strengthen your network security and make it easier to manage. SonicWall goes beyond providing a product, we offer a solution and our commitment to your security. Exploring the SonicWall 7.1.1 release. Managing network security is complex, but SonicWall Gen 7 firewalls offer a straightforward solution that blocks advanced cyber attacks while it evaluates and mitigates risks, and even simplifies how you manage your network. Gen 7 firewalls play a crucial role in safeguarding organizations against various threats, ensuring continuous protection from sophisticated attacks. Our commitment to staying ahead in cybersecurity is evident through our continuous hardware and software enhancements. Here's what's new in Sonic OS 7.1.1. Notable additions include advanced threat protection, a revamped content filter, enhanced DNS security, and seamless integration with Aruba ClearPass NAC. We've also significantly improved multi-cloud deployments based on feedback we received about previous performance and registration processes. Additional enhancements include NSV bootstrapping, token-based registration, and a new driver for NSV that increases overall performance. We also prioritized ease of use and operations by enhancing the app experience with a better user interface. Plus, we added support for Wi-Fi 6 access points. This comprehensive list of improvements reflects SonicWall's dedication to providing robust cybersecurity solutions and engineering user-friendly interfaces and processes. There were many administration interface enhancements in Sonic OS 7.1.1. These included improvements to the dashboard, new pages to support significant enhancements to our content filter service, the new DNS filter service and NAC integration. Beyond those, we made numerous enhancements to improve the firewall administrator's efficiency and ease of use. We will look at some of these in the upcoming demo. The key benefits to the firewall administrator are more information, better visual display of this information, and the ability to interact more efficiently with the firewall to complete a task. This comes together to promote an improved security posture through knowledge, efficiency, and ability to configure new complementary features added to increase the depth and breadth of SonicWall's already respected and revered security services. Now, we will get into a demo showcasing the administration interface enhancements. 
Starting with the system dashboard, we have added two additional tabs, security services for more detailed quick reference and the DNS filtering tab to provide insight into this new feature. And third, a quick reference to the firewall serial number is displayed in the bottom left-hand corner regardless of where you are in the firewall's admin interface. Now, let's take a deeper look into security services. The security services tab details every security services status. Here, we will focus on gateway antivirus. First, we see it is enabled, and note that you can enable it from this screen if it is disabled. Second, we know the database of countermeasures and signatures has been downloaded. Third, the firewall's database version has the same timestamp as the most recent SonicWall Capture Labs version. Fourth, the firewall was last updated within the past hour, indicating the hourly update check is functioning. And fifth, we know the expiration date of the firewall's license for this security service. Next, let's look at the DNS filter tab. Here, we see a summary of information on the service. The firewall has allowed 1.6 million DNS queries in the upper left-hand quadrant. At the same time, the other three indicate where the firewall denied user access via one of the three available methods, block, negative reply, or forged IP. The other three quadrants summarize domains found in the service's three categories, security, mature, and enterprise. Next, we will look at the system monitor real-time chart of a firewall running Sonic OS 7.0.1, then compare it to a firewall running 7.1.1. First, there is a third graph you cannot see. However, nearly half of the screen is unused, you must scroll down to see it. Also, notice the graph, this data updates every 3 seconds by default. However, the graph is continuous with small peaks to mouse hover for viewing details. This takes a steady hand. Let's look at the same real time report in 711. First, notice the much better use of available screen real estate, showing all three graphs without scrolling. Also, notice how the data is presented. Rather than a continuous graph for non continuous data, you see a bar for each time slice, which is much easier to mouse hover and better represents the different applications identified. We also made the same changes to the protocol monitor. There are seven different graphs on this page showing Sonic OS 7.0.1. Again, nearly half of the screen is unused. Here is the protocol monitor in Sonic OS 7.1.1. All the screen is utilized, and each time slice better represents the data. Next, note the powerful filtering mechanism we have added to multiple firewall sections. Click the filter icon, which expands the top section, revealing three default fields, address source, destination, and policy access rule. Second, click on the more column filters to add more filters. For packet capture, the additional data fields you can filter have been added to the screen for your reference. The column options will differ depending on where in the interface you use this tool. Now, if you drop the box down for filtering, you will see every source IP address in the packet capture, along with a counter of how many packets from that source IP were captured. If you click in the address source filter box and start typing an IP address, it will filter as you type. In this example, we have typed 142, so we see about 10 IPs that begin with this and another that ends with it. Plus, we see how many packets are associated with each IP. And we can select multiple IP addresses. Other sections of the interface that have this capability include address and service objects and groups, access rules, NAT rules, and routing rules, as well as AppFlow reports and AppFlow monitor. Here is an example of this new filtering tool in the firewall's access rules table. This dramatically enhances the administrator's ability to quickly find the presence of a particular access rule in the firewall. Here is an example where we have filtered the rule list for any destination address object with a name, including the acronym SMA. Notice how this allows the administrator to quickly filter for rules associated with address objects that have been named for the SonicWall Secure Mobile Access VPN in my lab. We also enhanced the firmware update process. Now, from any page on the firewall, you can click the gear icon in the upper right-hand corner of the interface and check for new firmware updates. 
If one is found, you can then click to download the firmware. We also brought back the firmware auto-update feature and greatly enhanced it. This feature's configuration is found in the firewall's firmware and settings section under the settings tab, as indicated in number one above. Second, you will see the settings to tell the firewall to check every 24 hours for firmware updates, whether it should check for any or only critical ones, and whether to download automatically. Third, you can figure if the firewall will automatically upgrade itself based on the chosen schedule if an update exists in the firmware and local backups tabs table, regardless of whether it was automatically downloaded, downloaded via the gear icon method or manually uploaded. These firewalls will continue to upgrade automatically based on the schedule if you have enabled this setting and manually uploaded new firmware or used the gear icon method in the administration app. Yet, they will not automatically check for or download updates, regardless of the settings on this page. We have added the three tabs indicated by the orange box for the secondary storage enhancements. The first tab, named System Logs, is currently selected, and it lists the firewall's event logs, which have been stored in the firewall's non-volatile memory. You may notice the callout for the tab named Logs Legacy. These are for log files stored in previous versions of Sonic OS, which are in a different format. The other two tabs are entirely new. Threat logs are a new logging feature in the firewall capable of being stored in non-volatile memory. The other is packet captures, which supports the new ability to store packet captures to storage rather than simply wrapping to overwrite the oldest or stopping once the RAM buffer is full. Moving on to diagnostic tools, we have updated the DNS name lookup tool to include the domain's DNS filtering category. Here, we see the Sports Illustrated website domains. i.com is in the Sports category. And here, for the URL rating request lookup tool, we have added the website's reputation as additional information beyond the category. Here we see Facebook.com has a reputation of trustworthiness with a score of 81 out of 100. Higher numbers indicate a more trustworthy website, and there are five reputation categories, from high risk to trustworthy, plus a category for websites without a reputation. To manage the firewall's DHCP service, we added two columns to the DHCP server lease scopes table, entry name and second comment. The entry name is unique to static lease scopes and allows you to provide a name such as Sonic Wall Switch 1, Sonic Wave 641-1, POS1, and so forth. Notice the benefit of quickly viewing what is configured and why without expanding each line. Moving on to the content filter service, in Sonic OS 711, we added 32 additional website categories, a 56% increase, taking the firewall from 57 to 89. Along with this increase in security and granularity, we needed to change how you manage the 89 categories. The old way, in the profile object from the previous Sonic OS 7.0.1, note first how you must scroll to view all 57 categories and, second, how one category is slightly visible, indicating the page does not auto-expand to display more information. Now, we'll view this in the new Sonic OS 7.1.1. First, you can quickly search for a particular category as you type to find or change the setting. Next, while viewing all 89 categories, we can start expanding them by clicking the sideways triangle noted here. As we expand each category group, the window size auto expands to use all available vertical space. Notice that where indicated by the orange arrow, 61 of the categories are allowed. If you click that icon, the view will filter to these and auto expand every category. The same applies if you click the block icon to view the 24 categories blocked in this CFS profile object. The same applies to confirm, passphrase, and BWM for bandwidth management. These enhancements significantly improved your ability to view and manage your organization's content filtering. The next tab is for website reputation. In addition to the 56% increase in categories, as a reminder from previous sessions, we added this feature to control access to websites in allowed categories based on their reputation score. For example, now you can enable the social networking category, however, block access to any website in this category with a poor reputation. 
Here, you allow the use of reputation in this particular CFS profile object and choose which reputation action you wish to apply. And here, under Object, then Match Objects, you will find the new one for reputation. As you learned in a previous spotlight, this is where you define each reputation level's action. A comment box also allows up to 255 characters of notes. And, as a final section to showcase, here's another enhancement made to DNS security while integrating our new DNS filter service. The main goal here is to show how we continuously think about ways to improve our products with an outside approach. We see the DNS security settings in the previous Sonic OS version, 7.0.1. First, notice that DNS security was part of the network tab rather than the policy tab. Second, for DNS tunnel detection, notice how the three tabs on the right are not related visually, yet they are all part of DNS tunnel detection. Also, note the setting block all the client's DNS traffic does not provide context as to what traffic it will block, yet it says all will be blocked. In Sonic OS 7.1.1, we moved DNS security to the Policy tab and logically grouped the three subtabs for DNS tunnel detection together. In the subtab named Detected Suspicious Client Info, we have renamed and relocated the setting to automatically block listed clients' DNS traffic when this feature has detected them and also provided a mouse hover information box explaining the setting. This reduces ambiguity and helps the firewall administrator complete tasks more efficiently. Conclusion and Call to Action Gen 7 and Sonic OS 711 mark a significant milestone in SonicWall's journey to excellence. So, there's more to learn. You can start by exploring your upgrade options. If you are a partner or current SonicWall product user, check the user portal at my SonicWall for the latest features and updates. If you are new to SonicWall, Please reach out to your SonicWall representative or solution engineer today by scanning the QR code on the screen. Subscribe for future Feature Focus Spotlight episodes for more insights on other developments and updates from SonicWall. Thanks for watching.